and your perspective on life changes when you change your perspective on yourself if you have a negative perspective towards yourself and you just have all these negative feelings and you don't love yourself then you don't love life you have this negative perspective towards life you just have these negative thoughts about life these negative feelings you always feel like something negative is going to happen to you something bad you're just always expecting the worst instead of expecting great positive things you have such great qualities you know you're a beautiful soul but you see the negative in you instead of seeing the beauty in you you see all the negative and that's not good because then you're going to see all the negative in life you're just going to see all the negative in everything instead of seeing the positive there's so many factors that go into why you have this certain perspective on life why you have this certain perspective towards yourself it can be your past your present it can be beliefs you know your daily habits literally everything you know there's so many things that go into it your past doesn't define you it has helped you become who you are now i'm not proud of my past and it doesn't define me it's not who i am now it helped me become the person that i am today it helped me learn a lot and it helped me change my perspective on life my perspective towards me but that's not who i am that party animal that i used to be that's not me she's not within me anymore i let her go for good reasons you know i let her go in order to change in order to level up in order to grow your past is not the present i didn't have the greatest childhood right it was shitty and because it was shitty i thought well since my childhood is shitty my whole life is going to be shitty i had this negative perspective on life especially because i had this negative perspective towards myself and you don't think about it like that when you're younger you're just a child and you don't think about these things nobody tells us about these things about how you're supposed to love yourself and how you're supposed to take care of yourself especially if there's nobody there taking care of you i really didn't have a grown-up taking care of me like looking after me and i am the oldest sibling so i grew up pretty quickly i really had to take care of myself I had to take care of the younger siblings too and it's tough for the oldest child we get into this mentality where we, we put them first you know, it's like kind of like fuck us and we put them first because we have to be the good role model. We have to give the good examples. We have to be good so they can see that we're doing good and them wanting to do good. But it's like, well, who are we looking up to? You know, who's taking care of us if we're taking care of them? Nobody. And I know that should drain me a lot. And it also really led me towards having this resentment and this anger. I didn't feel appreciated and I kind of grew up into this mentality where okay well i have to put others first and that was my perspective i didn't see the positivity within me like i always thought okay well i'm like i'm here to take care of them that's kind of how i just saw my life i didn't see anything positive i didn't really put me first i didn't see what i could do i didn't know what i was capable of i didn't have goals it was just kind of it, like it all kind of went away let's not get into, into this into the childhood but it was it wasn't a good childhood honestly it wasn't like a childhood at all i saw everything so negative the childhood was bad it really led to me having negative feelings and anger resentment and all that so what did i do i escaped through substances and that's the thing where it could lead you one way or the other some people you know at a really young age they're just like like fuck this they don't choose that they see the positive but I saw the negative. I see the positive now, but I used to see the negative. That leads nowhere good. But now, since I see the positive in all of it, and I learned from it, and it really helped build this motivation and inspiration where I, I want to do better. Why? Because I want a better life. Because I deserve it. I deserve it, and I believe in me, and that's that's just how i see you know that's my perspective on life now just because i had a shitty past doesn't mean i'm going to have a shitty future you know and it's what i do now i wasn't doing great things then in order to have great positive outcomes but since i'm doing great now and i'm doing positive things i'm taking care of me i'm practicing self-love and self-care i know i'm going to have a positive future and i'm speaking from the experience of not having a good childhood so if you did have a good childhood i mean great for you but even those with great childhoods you know everybody takes things differently everybody goes through different things it's really you that knows what you go through what was good for you is probably bad for somebody else it's just different for everybody and i just mine was 
not the greatest at a very young age what did i do i started drinking alcohol and i used that as an escape mechanism because i had built all these negative feelings and this negative perspective on life where it's like well fuck it like i might as well just escape and drink my life away you know and that's not good especially at a really young age you guys it worsens your mentality and it puts you in a really dark place and it doesn't help at all you just build this more negative perspective towards life and towards yourself it was till recently where i really changed my perspective where i changed my ways i stopped drinking it's about to be three years ago barely three years ago even when you're an adult you can still be living with this negative perspective on life because of your past and you're still holding on to it and that was my issue where i was still holding on to it i was holding on to this resentment to all this hate honestly in a way blaming others and i just had to take accountability because you know i mean i was a child like i can't do much but I still decided to do negative things. I decided to go towards the wrong path. And I mean, I finally saw the light and I decided to go the positive way. And that's honestly what counts. Okay, you honestly have to let everything go. You have to let it go and just accept the fact that you went through that. That's your past. Like, what can you do about it? Nothing. What you can do now is start doing better so you have a better future. Just because you had a bad past doesn't mean you're going to have a horrible future, a horrible life ahead of you. If you start doing better, you're going to get better outcomes. And people use it as an excuse. That was my excuse for escaping, for drinking, where I was like, well, my life is shitty. I had a shitty past. Like, that's why I'm drinking, you know. But that's not how you should see things, and that's not how you should think. And you really have to take accountability. Stop blaming others. Stop blaming the substance. Stop blaming your past. It's you. Those are your reactions. That was my reaction to all the shitty things that were happening to me. I would use this escape mechanism. And it doesn't fix anything. It doesn't make the past go away. It doesn't make things any better. 